everybody i know it's been a while since my last video but here we go and this is pretty cool okay this is the inside of a laptop this works but the sensor on the board the little switch that turns it on and off doesn't work now that's either a dead motherboard or a bypass using something creative and we use something creative now I need to do this before but I just I didn't we're gonna have to insulate that and okay I came up with the idea I didn't actually do the hands-on work on this one right I helped take it apart that's pretty much it and uh, well we took see you got the red black and yellow I know it's, you can't really tell going from the fan lead to here and it's either temperature or RPMs right and then red and black and this in this case it's 5 volts 0 0.18 amp so 18 milliamp big deal not a lot of power so what we did we went over here see we got spliced wire over there right now it's sitting under the fan going over here to the USB jack right USB has 5 volts going to it and it has more than 8 18 milliamps so that's fine or 180 milliamps or whatever 0.18 amp okay it has much more than that so hopefully the USB jack will still be a USB jack but we jumped it from there to there well there and now the fan works it's always on it's kind of like kind of like the mod that I did to my car except this one you don't un unclip it see other video okay and well there you go and this is a Toshiba laptop that will have a much longer life now that it's not going to keep overheating. This has been a pain. <laughs> Big time. One thing led to one thing, and then something else broke that's totally irrelevant. This stopped working for some reason. We figured out it's the, the sensor on the motherboard. Okay. Pretty cool. I, I basically came up with the idea to jump from here to here. And now I'm probably going to go jump off a roof. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to jump off anything, but this is a cool jump right there. Okay, well, that's it. Had to document. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.